Morning everyone. Um, I know that I posted a video yesterday and I let everyone know that I uh, posted my NCIS Rizzoli and Isles connection list. So that is up in case anyone wants to see it. Um, if you have your own connections that you've noticed or if you know season and episode numbers, um, then go ahead and let me know. I also wanted to say that I just finished the last episode of Season 5 of Xena Warrior Princess. I know I'm 12 years behind schedule, but um, I kind of resisted uh, getting through Seasons 1 and 4 because I didn't want to have to um, absorb what was going on in Seasons 5 and 6, because 5 and 6 are a lot heavier than Seasons 1 through 4, I think. Um, so, I've reached the last episode of Season 5, which is Motherhood. Um, I won't really ruin it for you, but it's where um, Xena kills the gods of Olympus, and um, it's, it's kind of the end of the twilight for the gods. But anyway, um, issues get heavier um, through Season 6, and of course, you know, there are the last two episodes, A Friend in Need, Part 1 and Part 2, which... Um, I know a lot of people have trouble watching, and I've never seen, but I know what happens. So, um, <laughs> I'm kind of terrified. I know it's, I know it's silly to be so terrified about a TV show, but, um, I think that Xena Warrior Princess really hit home for a lot of people. The issues were real, um, the emotions were real, and it, it's just, it's such a personal, it's a very personal show. Um, and everybody, everybody relates to it differently, but for everyone that loves the show, I think that there's very personal meaning there. So anyway, I just got done doing that, so I'm a little, I'm a little starry-eyed, a little, uh, a little exhausted. It's very emotionally exhausting. Again, it seems like a silly thing to say about a TV show, right? But, uh, if you haven't watched Xena, you should, you should watch it. A lot of laughs, a lot of good times, a lot of fun memories, especially if you watched it once when you were young and you watch it again now. It's kind of fun, huh? Um, so anyway, I'm about to get into season six, but I would like to do a new blog post before I get started. Um, I belong to a Facebook page called the Xena 2011 Movie Campaign, and I know it's not 2011 anymore, but Facebook doesn't allow you to change... Um, names on your groups or your pages like that. So it will forever remain the Xena 2011 movie campaign page. Um, if you're so inclined, if you like Xena, if you would like to see it in a movie someday, um, go ahead and join. Just go to Facebook and type in Xena 2011 movie campaign uh, and it should come up pretty quickly in your search results. We are 10,000 uh, warriors and counting. So, um, if you do join, you'll be joining a huge, dedicated group of people. Um, wonderful people. I don't know all 10,000, but I, I have spoken to several, and everyone there is just very warm and, and loving and open. It's very, um, it very much kind of has in it the spirit of, the spirit of what the message of Xena Warrior Princess was all about. It's very peace-loving. It's very, um, just a very loving, open group. Um, so, I was thinking before I get started with Season 6 that I would take the time to write a blog entry about um, writing to Universal Pictures, and or how to go about writing to Universal Pictures, and sending it off. So if you'd like to write a letter about um, why you think that they need to make a Xena movie, or if you'd like to write a letter about um, your personal reasons or your personal feelings or emotions or experiences um, and memories watching Xena Warrior Princess and your desire to see it made into a movie, um, I was thinking I'd write a blog entry about how to go about doing that because I do have the contact information um, and the, the specific person that you need to write to. So, um, I'll be getting on that pretty shortly here. So if you see this video, if you're interested in kind of, you know, joining the joining the forces and campaigning for a Xena movie, 
that's what my next blog entry will be about. So, everyone have a great day. Peace.